This video is for a challenge from Motovlog Alliance Amino and MotovlogAlliance.com. I'm going to be talking about how I got into writing. So it should be pretty dang exciting. Actually, I can't back that up. I don't I don't have the best story of how I got into writing, but uh, I'll do my best. Long time ago, when I was but a wee little panda, went to go visit my aunt and uncle and cousins in Oklahoma. One of my cousins had a Honda. I don't even know what it was. I know it was a two-stroke Honda. And it was either an 80 or a 125. He rode it all the time. They had land that he rode it on and all this stuff. And so, you know, cousins, we want to give it a go. And I saw it, I saw it going around and like, you know, uh, my older brother, he could ride it no problem. He had never ridden in his life. Uh, he's way more mechanically competent than I am. And, uh, you know, little nine, nine or 10 year old panda just want to jump on and have a go. Well, they taught me like clutch, throttle, rear brake, front brake, all of the all of the important things. Just in case anybody's watching this and they don't know, front brake, throttle, clutch, rear brake. Hi other bikists. Hi other bikists. They didn't like me. This was in the days where there wasn't any safety equipment. I was wearing a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and some shoes, maybe. I'm pretty sure I was wearing shoes. And that's about it. Squidding on a summer's day. I get on this thing, rev it, dump the clutch, <clears throat> and I'm just gone just just gone i'm going full throttle too i have no idea why i completely forgot where the brakes were all it was was just throttle and hold on so this thing was like just bouncing off the rev limiter in first going as fast as a you know two-stroke honda 80 will go a uh, dirt bike i should probably say that it's a dirt bike i end up just weaving about wildly somehow stay on the bike and i just smack my knee into this uh, piece of pipe my my uncle uh, was a private contractor plumber he was a plumber who had his own business so he had all this pipe and everything and i slammed my knee on this pipe and still just full throttle just ripping it somehow like managed to stay on the bike like weaved over and i go start straight into the woods i i'm, I'm rolling <laughs> just you know full bore which, I mean, on the same is probably like, I don't know, maybe 20 miles an hour, but I was a kid and it felt much faster, don't judge me. Just imagine a little terrified nine or 10 year old panda just hanging on to the handlebars of this little Honda and just ripping the throttle and he's scared. And he's heading straight to the woods and the trees. Fortunately, I ran over a barbed wire fence that happened to be a pretty low barbed wire fence and it wrapped up in the rear wheel and whenever it did that it just immediately stopped the bike it just and then you know i dropped the bike naturally is what happened in that situation so i'm in a forest at this point and i just go sliding across like the dead leaves and stuff on the ground and i remember opening my eyes and my head like my face was about I, I, in my mind it was like six inches from a tree but it was probably more like two or three feet in reality that was my first ever experience with bikes ever and i had my knee that i hit on that pipe that swelled up I couldn't couldn't walk properly for for days. I mean, it was it was really bad. I mean, it was it was swollen up huge. Had this monstrous bruise on it. And for some reason, in that, I completely just fell in love with the power. After that experience, uh, I was like, I, I need a bike. I gotta have this. And I think a lot of it was just trying to overcome fear. Yes, I actually was, uh, you know, nine, ten year old kid that did contemplate conquering fears and stuff and the psychology and everything behind it don't judge me i wanted my own motorcycle and my brother who's uh, a little bit older than me he wanted one too so he and i actually pulled our money together and bought one and that's when i really learned how to ride it was like my first like real taste of freedom i think i was like 10 whenever we bought it i do have to say i am still much like you and mcgregor i am still quite amused by how fast i can go without pedaling over the years i just you know, I started to learn more about how it worked and how it functioned and, and the principles of like counter steering and like the centrifugal force and how that works in cornering and all little nuances about it. I became very intrigued by them all and like how it all works and how it all comes together for something to function like it does and, and the power especially going from a bicycle to a motorcycle i mean the power switch on that is crazy no matter what you're on something that amazes me is, is simply this 
like I, I know that's nothing and it's like we yeah if you're a kid you take your hands off the handlebars when you're riding a bicycle it's, it's not that fancy but to me i find it amazing and perhaps it's just i'm easily amused each bike is different that's one thing i love love about riding is like you know i can get on this bike and it feels one way it rides one way and you know i think it's like it's kind of its own thing like it's its own experience and then I can get on my wife's bike, and hers is, she has a 500, actually, and, like, I love riding my wife's bike, because it's a, just a completely different experience than this. You know, you can drive a crap car. You can get in a car, and you're just like, this is awful, because you're, like, looking at interior quality and everything else, and that's what I love about bikes, is, like, there is no good or bad, you know? I mean, there's, like, there's stuff that's, like, yeah, it's kind of lower quality and doesn't have as many features or whatever, but I'm talking about as far as the ride experience goes. It doesn't matter what you ride, like, you're going to have an amazing time. If you're on a Ruckus, you're going to have a fantastic time. If you're on a little Vespa scooter, you're going to have a fantastic time. If you're on a Grom, you're probably going to have more fun than I am ever on this, <laughs> purely because it's way less scary. And that's, you know, and that's just it. Like this, I'm going to have a phenomenal time on this because they're all their own experience. It's something that I've just found intriguing and that just truly captivates me about about motorcycles and riding in general no two times that you go out are ever alike because you're out in it the experience of what you're riding is different the experience of the weather is different like the smells that you encounter and like paying attention to you know the trees and and the greenness of the grass and you're just out it causes you to relax now i'm defensive i'm, I'm careful I'm, I'm aware of what's going on but like even though my mind is very focused on what's going on and like i said i'm hypersensitive and hyper aware of like people's driving habits obstructions in the road uh you know lean angles what i'm doing throttle brakes all this stuff and corners at the same time it's a, it's very mentally relaxing this could sound really cheesy i know as i ride everything else is behind you know and it's like the only thing i have to focus on when i'm riding is the action of riding not you know cares and troubles and whatever may be going on it's just the ride it's another thing too i love the i love the joy it brings to like children you know, i'm sure we've all seen it you're like riding around you see a kid looking out the window and they're all stoked when you blast by at speeds that are less than favorable to the local constabulary it's just the look of joy and excitement on their faces and it's cool to be able to do that so yeah, I mean, that's, I kind of got into writing from an accident. I mean, quite literally, <laughs> I wrecked. And for some reason, that just really turned me on to the whole idea. And then from there, I just fell in love with so many aspects of it. Mechanical end and the whole like physics of it and how it actually works. And the community too. I've said this before in another video too, like motorcycles, they cause you to look beyond whatever your prejudices and stereotypes may be. The motorcycle community, it like bridges gaps. Say I'm really new to the whole Motovlog Alliance uh, Amino, totally new. And so far, like the people on there have been absolutely awesome, very supportive and everything. So if you are a Motovlogger and you haven't heard about it, um, definitely, definitely stay, man. What are you freaking doing? Then definitely go check it out. Uh, it's uh, Motovlog Alliance. And like I said, it's great, great community thus far. Um, people are really supportive and just kind of really awesome. As always, if you see this video and you like this video, please definitely give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like what I'm putting out. Uh, always subscribe for more. I do put out videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So there's always new content rolling out from me. Um, if you don't like it, definitely leave me a comment. Let me know why. You can hit the thumbs down button if you really want to, but it will hurt my feelings a little bit. If you watch this video and you just want to say hey drop me a comment definitely let me know you watched it i'm happy to talk to anybody that watches feedback is welcome so uh, i'm gonna leave this at that and until next time um bye